What's up? Are you still coming over tonight? Yeah, well, I thought we could rent a movie at my place. Tommy! What the fuck? Tommy! Listen, uh, you. I, I have to call you back. Something came up. It's Uncle Mike! Hey, hey, Uncle Mike. I had no idea that they did that in hotels. And so I'm like, well, who the fuck puts chocolate on a pillow? I thought it was shit. Hey, nice place. Sit right there, let me get you a towel. Cool. So what brings you out to these parts, Uncle Mike? What, you don't want to hang out with your Uncle Mike? Well, I didn't mean it like that. Uncle, you mind smoking that outside? It's cool, it's a vaporizer. It doesn't smell. It's not a vaporizer, it looks like a pipe. That's what they told me. It's cool, I'm done anyway. You need a place to stay, Uncle? I need a place to stay. Thought so. It's only going to be temporary, Tommy. I mean, what could be better? You and me hanging out, we'd go to a ball game or go play soccer. I mean, I'm just waiting for escrow to close on my house. That's all. Bought a house. You're working again? Your mom didn't tell you? She didn't tell you about Kids Trap? Kid what? I mean, Kid Trap's app. It's this app. I mean, here, come over here. Yeah, I can't believe that your mom didn't tell you that I'm making apps now. This one is called Bad Bus Driver. See, what you do is you drive around and you pick up unruly kids that have been late to school and that kind of stuff. You got to get them to school before the bell rings. So you can use, I have different tools in here. See, here's where you can throw out candy and see how they come running towards it. Then you grab them, put them in the bus. Sounds like you're playing as some kind of kidnapping pedophile. No, it's called Bad Bus Driver. Now why is it called Kid Trap Apps then? You trap kids. It's a play on words. You're trapping the kids' attention. And you can get a premium one too. And that, that's where we're making the dough at. The premium one, you can find out where the person is that's playing the game. You can find out what kind of strategies people use. It's a social networking thing. It's going to be bigger than Facebook. I don't know, Uncle Mike, and now's a really bad time for me. I'm, I'm swamped with tax season. I'm overloaded at work. I'm trying to make things work with my ex-girlfriend, Amanda. That one with the eyes? It's not her eyes. She's Cantonese. I don't care what her religion is. She's got a lazy eye. Can't you just ask my mom if, if you could stay with her? I don't want to stay with your mom. She's boring, man. Let's have breakfast. Let's have lunch. Let's have dinner. Take the garbage out. Oh, do you love my cat? I don't know, Uncle Mike. Could you put, could you help out with money for groceries and? I can throw money your way. It's no problem. I'll have some in a week or two. And the couch is all right. Sure, maybe three or four weeks, but I'll have it for you. All right. So, what's your pay-per-view policy? Uncle Mike, I'm going to work. You work on the weekends? It's Wednesday. I thought it was Thursday. I was hoping we could hang out today. Um, maybe have an uncle nephew thing at the zoo. Look, there's something we need to talk about. What's up? You've been staying here a month now, and it's cool and everything, but I thought you were going to help out with rent. Can't you get a job or something? I told you I got a job. You mean your rape apps? Listen, it's the number one downloaded demo in Norway. Norway, nephew. You gotta get involved in this, I'm telling you. Can you at least clean up a little? The place is just getting a tad dirty. You got a Swifter or something?
Wow, the place actually looks really good, Uncle. What the hell happened to you? My car ran out of gas. I had to walk home. Where's your phone? Where's your car? At the gas station. I tried using my ATM to fill up the tank. Some prick had stolen all my information. I had insufficient funds. How do you know that? An app that can track wherever my money goes. Now, that is a great app. Be careful. It's a felony, that crime. That scumbag's going to jail for this. I'm calling the cops tomorrow. It's a felony felony? It's only $1,000, but it's the principle of the matter. That scumbag's got to pay for this. Wasn't it more like 500 How'd you know that? What? That I only had $500. What'd you do, Uncle Mike? Listen, I invested. I took the money. You took the money? After all the shit I let you have? After all the food I've I given you? I invested the money, Tommy. You did what? I invested it in kid trap apps. I'm gonna be sick. Not your in apps, here. your goddamn apps. Those apps were made by a psychopathic lunatic. I've told you time and time again, those were made by me. Baby. Right, right! All you do is feed off the family. You lie, you cheat, you eat all my food, you don't pay me rent. You're a failure. You're a... Whoa. What'd you put in that pipe? Sylvia, man. Why would you tell me that? I, you just grabbed it out of my hand and started smoking it. Uncle Mike, get your bags. Get out! Ma! Hello, Tommy. How you been? Cool. Me too. I hope one day that you can forgive me. Inside this envelope, you're going to find a check for $50,000. Oh, my bad. It's probably only going to be $5,000. But this is for your investment, plus the return I promised. Uh, don't cash in until Friday. I'm sorry, man. Mike. P.S. There is weed in the envelope. Give it to Ray Ray. He will stop by unexpectedly. Who is it? I will, I'll kick, I'll kick the shit out of you. Ray Ray don't play. It's Tommy. Tommy? Tommy, come on over, man. So what brings you over here, Tommy? What the hell are you doing here, Mike? We're gonna get arrested. We're not gonna get, how are we gonna, hey, how did you find me? Your date rape apps, I downloaded the new premium edition. It has the things where you can find your friends. It's not a date, it doesn't matter. But I told you that that was a good idea. That was a great idea. I don't know how great of an idea it was. The first guy I followed around, there was some European guy with his dick out at the playground. Eesh. That's creepy. That's, that's, um, I'm sorry, nephew. I hope, uh, I hope you can forgive me. I wanted to apologize too, Uncle Mike. I overreacted. Hey, I stole 500 bucks from you. I miss you, Uncle Micah. You know, you're outgoing, you're fun. You're my family. Yeah. Well. And you've sent way too much money. $5,000 worth? Could you get that? Hey, you know, uh, I sold that app business to those Norwegian guys. And those guys, they bought every bit of it. So. You're joking. No, man. No. Yeah. What are you going to do now after you're... Investing. Investing? Yep. I'm uh, taking some of that money. I, I remember what you told me about, you know, those uh, Ruth Imas and the material funds or whatever they are. And you told me that Social Security was going to kind of take a crap. So I'm really focusing on, I guess what I'm saying, Tommy, is that I need your help on investing. I'm glad to hear that, Uncle Mike. Glad to hear you're turning over a new leaf. Now, dude, let's get out of this town. We're going to get arrested if we stay out here. We're not going to get arrested here. 
What are you talking about? This is my place, man. You're kidding. No. Yeah. I'm the big swinging dick around this place. Potter with the money from the Norwegian guys. Oh shit, huh, Uncle Mike? Yeah. Got plenty of room, too. Well, you know I got evicted, right? Yep. Need a place to stay? I need a place to stay.